When she paints, she does so with the weight of a boulder on her shoulders and a touch as soft as snow, snow falling from up high to down below, as gentle as a single flake of footsteps at the wake that fall like a silent hush. Each brush stroke stoking the fires of past demons and feelings provoking hope until both manifest themselves as reasons to cope. While each coat gently floats like silent water surrounding her inner strength like a moat, but those past demons know you can't forever keep the drawbridge closed, so she's chosen to let the pain of the past last only as long as each canvas in tow. With the weight of the world on her shoulders and a touch as peaceful as a pillow, but you wouldn't know it at first glance. Her delicate portraits of blooming plants revealing the true beauty of things that seem silent to the world, while in her mind they sing songs that speak of the undying hope in the stillness beneath, that fuel the willingness to beat through those values too many accept as their stands, for she knows life is lived by those who dance and forgotten by those who beat their dreams to chance. So she paints. With precision more pristine than any human being could program into a machine because eyes are meant for seeing and hearts for feeling. So when she picks up a blank figurine of clay, she allows infinity to give way to the prospect of endless possibilities that keep most at bay. For she finds relief in the simplicity of our overwhelming abilities, a belief we all have the capability to grasp once we move past the difficulties that last only as long as we wait for our fear and doubt to pass. So she paints. With the weight of all unkindness she's ever felt like a bookshelf on her back, while ideas ebb and flow like waves of courage that know that how far you've come determines the strength of the undertow. So with a stroke as red as a rainbow, she paints snapshots of imagination, laced with an understanding of what exists beyond the lightly detailed corners of childhood. And though she's seen many deem that clouds are made of ice cream, she's one of the lucky few who never unlearned how to dream, so she paints. She paints portraits of those who loved her so dearly, sitting next to her under a blanket by the sea or simply holding her closely. And like elegies to the past, these landscapes of memory stand fast as steadfast monuments, honoring times she once occupied but now exist only in her mind. For these collections of canvas and color stand as testament to me that there's beauty in the darkness if we choose to see, that the starkness of what we now are proves to be a reflection of what we've survived onto what we now know. So, I hope you now see that there's beauty in the darkness if we choose to see. That the starkness of what we now are proves to be a reflection of what we've survived onto what we now know. So embrace the boulder on your shoulders. For the touch, as soft as snow.